These are the dimensions for a 430 MHz Yagi Ura antenna. Mark them according to the given dimensions. And always remember safety first. Take a hacksaw and cut the circular pipes where you have marked. You will get 5 circular pipes of different lengths. Number them accordingly. Mark the center and drill all the circular pipes. Now smoothen the drilled holes using a filer. Mark the given distances on the square pipe and drill the holes as shown. Take a screw and insert it through the circular pipe and then onto a square pipe. Tighten it with the help of a nut. Repeat these steps for all other pipes as well. This is how your Yagi antenna should look like. Take a coaxial cable and strip both its end as shown. Now take a TV jack and take out its outer covering. Take a screwdriver and slowly take out this small screw. Make sure that you do not lose the screw. Take the twisted wires and wrap them as shown. Cut the excess wire at the center of the cable. Now, take the inner section of the jack and open its mouth wide as shown. Insert the coaxial cable such that the circular wire goes inside the small hole and the wrapped wires touch the open mouth. Now, close and tighten the open mouth. Next, take the small screw and screw it tightly with the help of a screwdriver. Insert the outer cover of the jack from another end and close it tightly. Take a thin wire and cut out its outer cover with the help of a wire cutter. Take that thin wire and wrap around one side of the radiator as shown. At the another end of the thin wire, shoulder the center of the coaxial cable. Twist another thin wire with the side wires of the coaxial cable and shoulder them together. Take the remaining end of this wire and wrap it around the other end of the radiator as shown. Now, take a hot glue gun and apply it over the wires to stick it with the radiator and also at the coaxial end so that the wires do not touch each other. Now your Yagi Ura antenna is ready to catch signals.